And so uh, here you are. You know, you sort of made it to the pit. But this is really just the beginning. From now on, you have to answer to everyone in your staff, everyone who works in your organization, more so than you ever would have to answer to me or General Prince, because you're here to serve them. You're here to serve the world. That's the calling that we aspire to. And that's what drives us to become senior executives. I, Jeffrey S. Zabensky, Having been appointed the Director of the Weapons and Materials Research Directorate. Having been appointed the Director of the Weapons and Materials Research Directorate. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And I will bear true faith. And I will bear true faith. And allegiance to do the same and allegiance to do the same. And I take this obligation freely. And I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office. And I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Upon entering the Senior Executive Service Corps, new members are entitled to the Senior Executive Service flag. Similar to the personal flag represented to general officers, Senior Executive Service flag is a symbol of executive status within the federal service. Its emblem represents a keystone, the center stone that holds all stones in our place. This represents the critical role of the Senior Executive Service as a central coordinating point between government and political leadership and the agencies that implement it. Members of the Senior Executive Service Corps are responsible for translating the government's political agenda into reality. The upright line at the center of the keystone represent a column in which individual Senior Executive Service members are united into a single leadership corps. Senior Executive Service members play a critical role in the democratic process, translating the mandate of the national electorate into the development and execution of government programs, policies, and actions. Selection to the Senior Executive Corps to serve you, the Army, and our nation is one of the greatest honors I could have ever imagined. I am in awe of the responsibility entrusted to me to lead, follow, and serve as part of discharging my duties to protect the United States of America. I, Brian Sadler, having been appointed as a U.S. Army Senior Research Scientist for Intelligence Systems, having been appointed as a Senior Research Scientist for Intelligence Systems, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith, that I will bear true faith, and allegiance to do the same, and allegiance to do the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion, or purpose of evasion, and, I, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office, and that I will well, well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. Upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. The senior research scientist flag is a symbol of executive status within the federal service. The flag consists of the gold ST logo and circled by the words Department of the Army Scientific and Professional on a red background. The red on the background is the traditional color of military engineers. The senior research scientist logo is identical to the one on the pin that Dr. Sadler now wears. Dr. Sadler will now re receive his senior research scientist flag. I'm really pleased to be here with you today. Thank you all so much, you know, for what we stand for. I'm just uh, tremendously proud of this honor. I want to mention two things. One is, you know, ARL, uh, we're in the, coming up on the 25th anniversary. You're all aware of that. That's actually in October. And uh, Lori and I will also celebrate our 25th wedding anniversary in October. And... Both young engineers, both of us at Harry Diamond Laboratories, and that's where we met. So I guess you could say we're truly the, the first family there, right? <laughs>